the mission of the Partners for Health Foundation is to strengthen health and wellness in the communities we serve. And we do that with three core strategies as a way of really focusing our work and our impact in the community. The first of these is to build capacity of the nonprofit community because we want them to be effective and to operate efficiently. We're so grateful to the Partners for Health Foundation for um, providing this grant to us so that we can take this next step and grow and be a better um, contributor to the Eat, Play, Live Better initiative. The objectives are to review appropriate functioning of board and committees because I think as far as um, what we're doing so far with how we've set up our board and committees, I think we're on target, but it would be helpful for us to have a consultant who knows better to kind of help, you know, to at least pat us on the back and tell us we're doing it right or tell us what we can tweak to make different. The second objective is to examine feasible revenue sources and how the organization can be sustained over time. Right now our main fundraiser is the Tour de Montclair. That brings in just about enough money to cover the tour itself and we only make on top of that a tiny bit um, for operational costs and if we really want to expand our reach into the community we're going to have to figure out a better fundraising mechanism to sustain us over time. The third objective is to revisit the organization mission, goals, and objectives to ensure they represent the collective will and needs of the community. And the reason for that is when we first came up with our mission and goals our organization was a lot smaller. We weren't a 501c3 yet. Now that we have a membership base and a much bigger reach, we want to make sure that what we're working towards is what the community wants us to be working towards. Our goal is more people walking and biking on safe and complete streets. We're also proud to be at the forefront of a nationwide effort towards prevention. This is coming to life through our Eat, Play, Live Better strategy. The goal here is to make it easier for people to make healthy choices by exercising more and having access to healthier foods. Partners for Health has been a tr tremendous uh, support to us in expanding our initiative uh, since our first year. And um, it's, a, it's an exciting history already. A Lot to Grow is an initiative that grows vegetables and herbs for local food pantries and for soup kitchens and subsidized senior housing. First gift in kind was generously contributed by John Kelly from Franklin Company, who donated 16 raised beds. Those raised beds have been moved now from the hospital site to three, three different sites. Um, thank you, John. So it's working in terms of helping to support the whole idea that Partners for Health has about expanding their vision beyond uh, beyond Montclair and into other, um, surrounding neighborhoods. Um, we've already made it over to Nutley, so we're doing pretty good in, in the course of two seasons. Pantry Partners was created in 2010 to address two issues. Um, increasing access to mental health and social services for clients of food pantries and soup kitchens in the area and also increasing access to healthy foods at those emergency food delivery sites. And we are very much supportive of the effort to uh, increase access to healthy foods for everyone, which is really fundamental to eat, play, live better. This is something I always wanted to start a long time ago because uh, for safety reasons and for health reasons. You know, I am a diabetic and I know the exercise, and one of the best exercise you can do is walking. And it's cheap, it just don't cost you anything. And I see a lot of people walking out there that if they knew that there's somebody out there like at 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock in the morning that if I'm on this side that if I need help there's somebody there. Even as I started getting people to be part of the team it was because of healthy eating, healthy living. You know, and I came out of that, Montclair is trying to promote this and, and if you go out there one day a week that, you know, you can be part of healthy eating, healthy living in Montclair. So yeah, the Partners for Health did help a lot. 
What has really impressed me about them is that they really have led a movement here in this state in terms of being concerned about educating their constituency about concussions in sports and about the importance of return to play guidelines. Families never got treatment. And what, what successfully this program does is it actually helps the family members of the people who have an addiction. I feel like we're sort of the last resort program. People that are completely depleted, you know, families that are just on the verge of being completely annihilated because this addiction has run through their families for years and years and years and things aren't changing and they're so enmeshed. Um, this program is a sort of renewal for them. I see people really, you know, um, waking up and seeing that there are other possibilities for them, that even if the person in their family is not going to seek treatment and is going to keep abusing alcohol or drugs, that they can have a life outside of that. Well, without the funding, I'd say close to 85% of the families wouldn't be here. I direct the LIVE program, which stands for Lifelong Involvement for Vital Elders. The goal of the program is really to take communities that are good communities in which to live and make them into better communities in which to grow older. In our most recent survey of Cobalt participants, 65% of them said they felt more confident of their ability to age in place because of their involvement in the LIVE program. 87% reported that they have more knowledge of community resources and 87% also said that they've made new friends through the program. And given our goals, which are really to help people remain independent, feel connected to the community, and you know, stay in their homes, when we get that kind of feedback, we're really very satisfied and gratified because it makes us feel we are making a difference and we are having an impact. One of the roles the foundation plays is that of convener, and we try to bring community members together to talk about health and um, talk about their community and just try to establish new relationships among community members. Um, and one way we decided to do that this year is by being a sponsor of TEDx Montclair at Montclair State University on November 5th. TEDx is a locally organized event based on TED, the larger TED conference, which began 25 years ago in California. TED stands for Technology, Entertainment, and Design. Leading thinkers and doers come together and present their talks in 18 minutes or less, designed to change the world, literally. At TEDx Montclair, we had nine speakers who presented their ideas on how we could change the world and make it a better place based on the theme of Eat, Play, Live. Really fabulous experience. The audience was so energized and one, one audience member said it was amazing after spending six hours most of the time in our seats, there was still so much energy in the room at the end of the day. And lastly, the foundation believes that it should be responsive to the immediate needs of the community. And therefore, we do have some emergency funding that is available for that purpose. One of the first Tony's Kitchen guests that came up to us in the counseling room said, you know, I'm homeless, don't have any money, my family won't help me, and I need a place to live because we don't know if the shelter is going to open in Montclair or not. Found her an apartment, uh, supportive living, connected her with all the things that she was going to need in order to furnish her apartment, pots, pans, a bed, sheets. I mean, you know, this was a person that really had nothing and we were able to get her started and it was a really great feeling when she came to me at Tony's Kitchen and sat in front of me and she had said you know Layla remember when I sat here with you back in January and I told you that um, one of the things the thing actually that I miss the most about being able to live on my own is that I missed cooking I missed cooking for myself and I missed cooking for my children and um, I'm gonna be able to do that next week.